Thor Frankenbanis. Frankenbanny. A couple of months ago, I've been to Barcelona with my girlfriend. We were at the airport here in Bristol. Usually we're always going to Burger King or, you know, whatever. But there was Frankenbanny's there. And that's the thing. So as Italian, it's, it's a bit weird. Every time that we see Italian-American food, it's a bit like, nye, nye. I don't talk about that, <laughs> you know. It's just, a, it's just that to have kind of that feeling because we're so proud of our food. And I know, I know, we might even say it's overrated. I don't think it's overrated. I think it's, it is what it is. It's actually really, really good. But you can mess up Italian food so easily. You just start to throw random stuff in it. And I don't know, it's just, it's just strange. Now, is the Italian-American food bad? I don't think so. I think it's different, and I think if you just compare Italian food and Italian-American food, it doesn't make sense. You know, it's just like, there are two separate things. With that being said, chicken and pasta together, strange. When you overcook pasta, it's strange. When you just put, like, too much sugar into, like, tomato sauce, like, there are certain flavors they, f they feel off to us. This is why you can't really consider like Italian food. Like if you go there with the, that perception, like, oh, I'm going to have like some great Italian food. This is just wrong. You should go there with like, I'm going to eat like Italian American food. So we thought like, let's, let's try, you know, why not? I know it's a bit strange, but let, let's try. Maybe it's going to be decent. And it was, it was pretty good, pretty good. So I have high hopes for today. I want to go back there and try something different. This is a final call for all remaining passengers. So guys, I mean, the menu is a little bit different from last time. It's not the same. Last time, my girlfriend ordered some pizza with anduja. Who's this in? And I ordered the spaghetti meatballs. And as I said, I was quite impressed. Meatballs were really good. Today, I ordered some meatballs as a starter. Cause I like it last time. And I went again, just to have a bit of an appetizer, you know? And then chicken parmigiana with fettuccine. So there's going to be fettuccine, chicken parmigiana. We make chicken and pasta together is, it is a bit, it's quite a lot to take. You know, it's not something that we do every day in Italy. We actually don't do that. But as I say, I was impressed last time, so why not? I remember right? last time they had chicken alfredo with shrimp. But they don't have that. So guys, these are the famous meatballs that I had last time. Let's see how they are on their own. Yeah. It's full of garlic, that's the thing that it is a bit different from I mean, like Italian food. We put garlic, but not, not, not this much as Italian American food. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Having meatballs on their own is a bit more typical in Italy than having meatballs with spaghetti. That's a thing that we don't use to do, like putting like meatballs in spaghetti. Even if it makes sense, it's good. But having meatballs on their own, that's a bit more of a traditional thing. I don't know, these meatballs, they were a bit different. More garlic, the sauce was different. 
I think because of, because of the the wine probably. They were better last time. So guys, just to let you know, while this play was arriving, I was calling an Italian friend of mine, one that I'm going to catch in Berlin now, and I show him the play. And he, he was laughing, man, he was laughing. It's just so bizarre for us to see pasta with fries and chicken. It's just, all, it's all wrong. It's like, we don't serve like pasta as a side. I'm talking as, as Italian culture. I know it's a thing in America, but as Italian, it's weird. It's like, it's very weird. Let's try first with the chicken. Let's let's try let's try all separate and then I'll try to put the things together. Let's see how's it going. So we got some breaded chicken to cook fried, some tomato sauce on top and some cheese. Can't be bad. I mean, it, it's good, it, it can be bad. It's like fried chicken with cheese and things. It's just, let, let me let me try the pasta. Mm. It's not good. I was really impressed when I had the spaghetti meatballs, the sauce was really good. It, it, it was really tasty, like to, the tomatoes in there, and it was like the salt was right. And the spaghetti were kind of al dente, was not overcooked. This is not good. It's like the pasta is really, is overcooked. The tomato doesn't taste like anything. Now let me try the chicken with the pasta. Okay, so this is so wrong. So, the thing is, the pasta is so bland, it doesn't taste like anything. I'm not enjoying that, but the chicken, uh, it makes it better. But it's just because like, the chicken is good. So. And then I have the fries. I decided to put some spice in it, cause, well. Got this mixed feeling. I mean, you can't say they're just mad. Cry the mouth. I think I'll stick with the spaghetti meatballs next time. I just ordered a strawberry cheesecake. Mm. Yeah, I needed that. I love this cake, so good. Mm. New York cheesecake is great. I mean, I never had a cheesecake in New York, so maybe there is even better, but pretty good, pretty good. So, what can I say, guys? 
I was a bit more pleased last time, let's say that. Yeah, the meat was, they were fine, I guess. Well, they were not the same. The chicken, the cheese, and the tomato. How, how can you go wrong with that? But the pasta, the fettuccine, I know Americans, they like to like overcook things. <laughs> but still, like the, the, the sauce was really bland. Yeah, not a huge fan of that, honestly. Cheesecake was good. <laughs> now, am I hating? No, I think Italo-American, you know, cuisine can, can be pretty damn good. This is the thing, as Italian, find good pasta, stuff, out of Italy, stuff. If you go into the Italo-American cuisine, it's tough. I like thinking about pasta as an Italian, not saying as a like, maybe it could be good, but that's it, guys. Now I'm going to Berlin. Haha, <laughs> that's going to be fun. You better cook with me.